everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being with me today i'm really excited to be sharing with you guys some alice in wonderland inspired diys for a garden party that i put together for my friends this past weekend and i'm so excited to share with you guys the entire process of decorating and making all of the diys so the first project that I wanted to make was this super simple garland idea. I found these jumbo playing cards on Amazon and I thought they would make a really nice garland. So I just went ahead and hole punched at the very top two holes. That way I could put my string or my lace um, through it just to thread them all together to make a beautiful garland. You could use whatever material you wanted to do this with. I decided to do some lace just because I like that kind of shabby chic look. But you could also do burlap or you could do red ribbon. That would be really pretty as well. But it's so easy. You literally just string all of the uh, cards on here and then just go ahead and tie it off with a little loop. That way you can attach it to whatever you want to hang it with. So I decided to use this outside on our fence and I thought it was just such a nice little touch for an Alice in Wonderland and such a cute little DIY. Again, super simple, but I just like how it kind of brought the theme in a little bit more and I love how it was able to jazz up our simple fence here. So for the next DIY, I wanted to create some DIY cake stands and I found these beautiful vintage dishes at a few local thrift stores. I believe most of these are actually from Value Village, so they were really inexpensive and I thought they would make a really nice little decor piece. So the first step to making these DIY cake stands is you just want to take some um, strong adhesive, either E6000 or this clear Gorilla Glue, whatever you have on hand. I don't recommend using hot glue because it's, well, it's easy to put on. It really is not strong enough and you can easily break this. So definitely use a stronger adhesive for this. And I'm just applying a really thin layer around the rim of the glass. Not too much because you don't want it to go all over your plate, just enough to give it a really good hold. And then you're just going to easily stick that right onto your plate. I decided to do the glass upside down just because I kind of thought that added to that kind of fun, whimsical look with Alice in Wonderland. You could use these for a lot of different things and I thought they would be such a nice addition to my food table where I could put some little chocolates on them if I wanted to and I could even use them after my party for other things as well. Um, but just make sure once you go ahead and add all of your glue, push on the plate just a little bit to give it a nice secure hold. And then you're going to want to let these sit for probably at least a day just to make sure that the glue has really cured to make sure that you have a really nice strong hold and nothing's going to come apart. But I just love how these are looking. It was such a simple and easy DIY, but I thought it would add a lot of fun character to my party. And I love that shabby chic kind of thrifted decor. So for our next DIY, this was actually something that I saw on Pinterest and I had to recreate it. So what I did was I went to my local thrift store and found a lot of vintage books. And then I also went to my dollar store and just grabbed a couple different kinds of moss. I have a natural moss, some Spanish moss, and then my favorite is the reindeer moss. It's super soft and I just love the beautiful texture that it adds. So with the one that I saw on Pinterest, they essentially took a lot of vintage books and stacked them together and then attached hot glue all over the books just to make it look really wild and crazy and just like a really fun outdoor decor piece. And I thought this would be such a fun little DIY to go with my garden party and something that I could even use for outdoor decor after the party. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add all of your books together just using some hot glue. And then I'm just alternating between the different kinds of moss, hot gluing them in sections all over the book. I wanted this again to be quite um, silly and kind of whimsical, very, you know, outdoor garden, almost as if these books had just kind of been stuck in the garden and then just kind of been growing plants and <laughs> leaves out of them. So I'm just going ahead and attaching all of the moss directly on top of the books. And I do apologize if I have some book lovers that are hating me right now, <laughs> gluing all of this stuff onto the books, but bear with me if this isn't your favorite DIY, but I just thought it was such a cute little piece and really fun for some outside decor ideas. Mm -hmm. 
So as I'm hot gluing all of the moss, I'm making sure to leave the spots where you can see the vintage papers. I don't want to cover that up. I think it's so beautiful where you can kind of see the textures coming through. I'm just essentially covering all of the tops and the sides of the books. Here's how my DIY moss book stack turned out, you guys. I'm so excited with how this looks. I love how you can kind of see the vintage books through all of this crazy moss. And I thought this would be such a nice, fun DIY to go with my Alice in Wonderland decor and something that I could use for, the, for my garden afterwards. So for our next DIY, I have these beautiful cloches that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. I wanted to kind of create a cute little scene inside of them. So I collected a bunch of different like DIY pieces from the dollar store. I have some little mushrooms, some little fake peaches. I have some beautiful strawberries and some mushrooms and I just thought it would be such a cute little kind of fairy garden inspired DIY. This would be something again that I could use after the party and that I could have displayed out on my patio or inside of my garden. Again, just something fun, whimsical, nothing too serious. It's Alice in Wonderland so I wanted everything to just be really fun and silly and cute. Something that could just bring a smile to my face and just add some beautiful decor touches to our tablescape. So for the first step, I'm just taking my hot glue gun and adding some styrofoam and this giant mushroom just to the top. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cover all of the styrofoam completely with all of my moss. Just be careful not to burn yourself. I've done that so many times with these kind of projects. So just definitely be careful, but you're going to want to go ahead and cover up all of that styrofoam. And then we're going to be adding in all of our decor pieces on top. So once you have your styrofoam completely covered in moss, we're going to go ahead and add in all of our decor elements. And then you can see here I'm putting the cloche back on top just to make sure that everything fit. I did that a couple times with these, just adding too many elements. So you want to make sure that the cloche can actually fit back on top. And then I'm just going ahead and adding in all of my little pieces here. So for this Alice in Wonderland inspired project, I wanted to keep it really fun. I'm just adding in a lot of cute little mushrooms and the strawberries, the peaches just going around and just adding those every so often. And then I found these beautiful little playing cards. This was actually a, a scrapbook paper piece that I cut up to make it actually look like they are individual playing cards. And I'm just adding those in just every so often into the decor piece just to add that kind of pop of Alice in Wonderland. And then once you have everything attached, go ahead and put your cloche back on. And here you can see how it looks. I'm so excited with this. And since I had three different kinds of moss, I decided to do three slightly different options. So I used the natural kind of brown moss and then just going ahead and adding in more of those mushrooms. Again, more of the little decor elements, lots of the cards, just to give it that really fun fairy garden kind of feel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, you guys, if you're enjoying it. I really hope you guys are enjoying this kind of lighthearted DIY Alice in Wonderland video. I've just had so much fun putting together all of these projects for you guys. And I don't know if you guys saw last year, but I did do a garden party video as well with some DIYs. So if you guys want to check out that for some more outdoor decor inspiration. But I just have fun doing this every single year, you guys. It's so much fun to put together these projects. And I just hope you guys are loving it. I wanted to show you guys how these looked outside with all of my flowers. I just thought they were such a fun, whimsical piece to add into my garden. And I just hope you guys are loving this. Even if you're not super into Alice in Wonderland, you could even make these with kind of a fairy garden feel or just add more garden elements, lots of flowers or greenery inside of them. The sky is the limit with these beautiful cloches on what you guys could create with them. So for the next DIY, we're totally switching gears and doing something really fun, crazy, over the top. I wanted to create the Mad Hatter's hat for a decor piece for my party. I just thought it would be so fun and you know, why not? <laughs> so I got this um, hat off of Amazon actually and I just using some uh, scrap fabric that I had on hand just to cover up the white on here. I wanted to add in a bolder color because you know with the Mad Hatter, it's all about color and fun and whimsy. So I thought this 
this beautiful purple would just be such a nice pop of color on the hat here. So now that I have it tied around here, I wanted to use some hot glue just to make sure that it would hold a little bit better and just kind of be more secure in place. So I'm just adding in a few dabs of hot glue every so often just to make sure that the fabric stays nicely onto the hat. And then of course for the Mad Hatter, we had to have a beautiful pocket watch. So I actually found this on like a random website online and just decided to go ahead and order it and see what would happen. And I absolutely love it. It was super cheap and inexpensive, but I just thought it was the perfect piece to add into my Mad Hatter's DIY hat design. So I'm just going ahead and using my hot glue gun and adding the chain all the way around the top of the hat. And then just reinforcing the pocket watch on the side with some hot glue as well. And then for the top of the hat, I wanted to add in a few more of those jumbo playing cards. I just thought that would add in such a fun touch that would definitely go with my kind of Alice in Wonderland theme. I actually found these beautiful vintage Alice in Wonderland playing cards, which I just thought were perfect because you guys know my theme here on the channel. I love everything vintage and shabby chic. So when I saw those vintage playing cards, I just had to grab those on Amazon. And of course, the Mad Hatter's hat would not be complete without some beautiful peacock feathers. I just could not resist these, you guys. I actually found these at a thrift store of all places. Peacock feathers can be so expensive, and when I found those, I just knew they were the perfect piece to add into my hat. So I'm just using some hot glue and then putting them directly behind the purple fabric just to hold them in place. And then just kind of adding a few smaller pieces in the front as well. So here you can see the Mad Hatter's hat outside in my garden, you guys. This is just such a fun, crazy, over-the-top piece. I hope you guys love this. I know it's really wild and crazy, but I just thought it would be so fun for my um, decor. And then also I could use this for Halloween or my daughter could play with it. But I just thought it would be such a fun piece to have outside. So let me know what you guys think. So for our next DIY, I found this beautiful pack of paper that was all vintage Alice in Wonderland off of Amazon and I just went ahead and cut everything out. I wanted to make some DIY little food signs that I could put into my finger sandwiches and my cookies and things like that and I thought this would just be the perfect thing to use. They had so many different varieties here like they had postcards and they had little tiny signs and even some bigger ones and then you can see the little playing cards that we used in the cloche. This was all from this beautiful paper pack on Amazon and I just thought it was the perfect thing to add into my decor. Something super easy. All you have to do is just go ahead and cut out whatever um, ones you want to use. And then I just decided to add these onto some toothpicks so that I could add them into our food. So I'm just using a small dab of hot glue here and then just attaching the toothpick onto the back of the little cards here. And then yeah, that's super easy, simple, and it was just such a fun little thing that added such a nice pop of color onto our food display for the party. And make sure you guys tune into my next video after this one because I'll be sharing with you guys the whole process of how I set up the garden party and all of the final decor and the decorating. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It should be up in a couple of days and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So here's a sneak peek of our party with uh, some of the food signs that I put onto the display here. I just love these so much, you guys. Let me know what you guys think, but I think they're so fun and fabulous and just such a cute little decor piece.
So for the next DIY, um, this was a repurposed sign from my sister's wedding actually. My husband helped me attach it together to make it a little bit taller and then he kind of just played around with the directions of all of the signs. So what I wanted to do was, if you guys remember in the Alice in Wonderland movie, they had that sign with all of the, the wacky like directions and things like that. So I kind of wanted to create something similar to this. So I'm just using some green paint to kind of cover up the words that were previously on here. And if you guys will remember my previous video from our living room refresh, how we repainted our room all of the green color, uh, this was actually some leftover paint from that. So nothing was going to waste. I wanted to make sure to use everything that I had. And I'm just going ahead and giving it a few coats just to make sure that I had covered up everything that was underneath here. You'll also notice here that I'm not covering the boards fully with the paint. I want it to look kind of messy and crazy because again, it's Alice in Wonderland. Nothing has to be perfect. So it was really fun to create this DIY with no pressure, just kind of making it really fun and just kind of going for it. Once my base layer was all done and dried, I went ahead and painted on my words. I used some Pinterest ideas just to kind of figure out what I wanted to put on here, but I just wanted to be really silly and fun and crazy, whimsical, that would perfectly fit in with my Alice in Wonderland decor. And I'm just going ahead and painting on a few different layers here just to make it look a little bit more opaque and so that you could see it a little bit better. And I wasn't being too careful about, you know, being too messy or being um, pretty straight with my letters. I wanted it to look kind of wonky and silly. So that's why you'll see that some of it's a little bit sideways and crooked. I kind of did that on purpose to go with my Alice in Wonderland theme. Once my letters were all painted on here, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit more definition. So I took a black felt tip marker and just added in a little bit more definition with all of my letters. That way you could see them a little bit better and they would help it to stand out. But I just absolutely love how this came out to you guys. It was such a fun decor piece to have at our party. So for our next DIY, I wanted to create some little party favors that I could put on the plates for all of my guests. So I wanted to use these beautiful vintage uh, Alice in Wonderland playing cards. So again, this is a very simple DIY. I'm just using my hole punch to create a hole at the top and then using some beautiful lace and these vintage keys that I found on Amazon. And I'm just going ahead and attaching those directly to the top of my playing card here and just uh, tying it in a little bow. I love this DIY because it's a little bit shabby chic, which really goes so nicely with all of my decor that I love so much. And then of course the beautiful key just kind of adds in that touch of Alice in Wonderland and then something that everyone could take home and just be reminded of this cute little party. I love these playing cards too because there were so many different ones so it was kind of fun to pick each card for each person and I just tried to match it to their personality and what they would like best so it was such a fun little DIY something super easy and cute but I just love how it came together. 
Here's a sneak peek of the garden party, you guys, with all of the Alice in Wonderland DIYs. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed because you do not want to miss how we put together this amazing garden party. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on as well so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Take care. Bye.